this is not our Jeep, but it's uh, kind of our, our orphan. It's uh, Don Alexander's uh, green uh, JK that he has, and uh, it's pretty much at the shop all the time. We do a lot of the work on it, and uh, we do a lot of uh, product testing and a lot of uh, fitting of new products, etc., etc. So this is kind of our shop Jeep in a way, um, not officially, but here it is. So I was going to give you a really quick tour of Don's. So uh, on the front here, we've got a uh, Rock Slide Engineering uh, stubby bumper with the uh, Warren Xeon 10,000. Um, this bumper also used to have the, uh, the bull bar, but we pulled that off to get a little bit more access to the winch and get some more airflow. Um, also, you can see we've got the Factor 55 on there. Uh, we have a nice set of uh, Baja Design Baja Design lights. These lights are awesome. These are great little LED pods. They, uh, they, they're, they're a good beam pattern. They work really well. Um, as far as fenders go, these are probably the second or third set of fenders we put on this Jeep. These happen to be Rock Slide Engineering uh, flat fenders. These are really well made. They fit really good. They're super strong. Uh, I'll show you when we get to the other side some, uh, you know, some bangs and bruises. Um, up here on the hood, we've got the Daystar uh, hood looper kit uh, obviously put on. And also on this Jeep, we've got the, uh, the Daystar cowl hood upgrade uh, paint matched for the hood obviously and this one you you cut a hole down here and a lot of the heat comes out and these are actually uh, functional so a lot of get a lot of questions on these Daystar products uh, on a hot day you can see the heat coming out of these suckers I mean you can just see the heat coming out so th this is a very good uh, good product uh, this cow is a very good product all, all of these products are, are functional and they do really well on a hot day this Jeep used to tend to overheat just a little bit so this uh, the, the addition of these two things really help and then also we've got a uh, PSC uh, dual cooler mount right up here uh, we had a different trans uh, different trans cooler on it it wasn't working as well so we switched over to these guys so we've got one for power steering and one for transmission so that's uh, so by moving the bull bar and adding these two things we've, we've got the airflow and we don't have any overheating issues now Okay, so here we are. Uh, obviously, we got some more Falcons. I, I, I think by now you guys probably realize we love Falcon Tire. Uh, these are some 37, 12, 50, 17 uh, Falcon MTs. Uh, this is probably the, I don't know, second or third set of these guys we've run through on this Jeep. Uh, we've got them mounted on uh, uh, Raceline Monster Beadlocks with the steel ring. Uh, can't say enough good things about these tires and these wheels. Uh, they have been flawless on this Jeep. Uh, this Jeep gets beat on hard, uh, probably more than most other Jeeps. Uh, it's been used for tire testing, it's been used for shock testing, it's been used for uh, Don's school outings, it's been used in the desert. This this Jeep has really been beat on and th these tires and wheels have really, really stepped up to the challenge. Okay, so here we are coming down the side of Don's Jeep. Uh, we've got these uh, Rock Slide Engineering steps. Um, we get questions all the time from people if these things are good rockers, if they work good, if it's a good product. Um, these these rockers have they've had the heck beat out of them. I mean, they've just been beat on, beat on, beat on. Um, we did some uh, some Nexon uh, tire testing where we ran uh, 285s on this Jeep and we went rock crawling to test the tires and. The, the one byproduct of running such a small tire is these rock sliders, they got the heck beat out of them. So this particular set has the extra little uh, rub rail on them that uh, Rock Slide makes that goes over the top. So these have been scarred up underneath and then we added this extra protection which is probably good for the people in the rocks. And uh, basically these steps, uh, they work as good today as the day we put them on which has probably been about three years now that these have been on. So. Uh, we get a lot of questions about durability. Guys are getting a little tired, but they're still working and uh, they've been beat on a lot. So um, great product. And then obviously back here, we've also got the uh, rock slide fender. All right, so on the back of this Jeep, we got uh, a lot to talk about here. So uh, first of all, you'll notice we've uh, right here on the top, we've got the uh, Daystar can cams for uh, carrying fluid in here. Um, basically what we did to mount those is uh, Don has a uh, AEV tire carrier. You guys know how much we love the uh, AEV tire carriers. We just basically welded up a little framework off of there so that we could attach those. Uh, we've also got a uh, antenna here from Rugged Radios which we'll show you on the interior. Uh, Don's got a little tailgate storage system here. But basically uh, you know how we feel about these AEV tire carriers. It's my favorite one. 
Um, also on the back here, we have the uh, two-way air system uh, on the back, which uh, Don uses with his uh, power tank. Uh, basically, you uh, fill and deflate from here. Uh, it's a really good system. We'll probably have to do a separate video on that when we get a little closer. Um, next thing you'll notice, Don's running a uh, Hanson rear rock crawler bumper. So what we did for Don is we modified the AEV tire carrier to work with the Hanson bumper. Uh, it's a great setup. Uh, you'll also notice we've got the pull pal uh, bracket, we've got the high lift jack bracket. Uh, this pull pal actually gets used, a lot of people's they uh, ride around in their shiny ornaments on a Jeep, but this one actually gets used quite a bit. Um, everything on this Jeep gets used. Okay, so here we are. This has got to get fixed, obviously, but so this is what happens when you actually use your Jeeps. So this is uh, no issue with the rock slide fender flares, but this particular fender has been hit about three different times. It's gotten worse each time it's gotten hit. Uh, this fender, you can see here, fender was actually holding up really good until we got this one corner right here. So obviously we've got a new fender on the way to get this fixed, but this is stuff that happens when the Jeep gets used uh, on the trail. I mean, bumps and bruises happen now. This little damage over here was not trail related, but this was a hit and run in a parking lot. And the guy started at the front and hit all the way down the side. So everybody always asked Don what trail this got uh, hammered up on. And uh, it's kind of funny, the story, but uh, it got hit in the Vons parking lot. So that one right there, we didn't even have any fun with it. Um, as you can see on this side, we've got the little 25 watt uh, rugged radios, uh, little communication radio. This thing is great. Um, works on with the handhelds and uh, works on the trail. Um, these guys have got everything you need for communication, so it's really nice. It's a nice compact size. There's not a lot of mounting options in a JK, so a lot of people ask us, why do we put it here? Uh, here it works great because you can, uh, you know, you can still open your glove box. You can still uh, have long-legged people in here. Uh, six foot five people can still ride over here, but this is just nice and compact and it fits really good. And then also we've got the uh, the rock hard roll cage up here. Uh, it's a really nice system. Uh, it's probably a good idea because this Jeep gets beat on a lot. Okay, so uh, in, in Don's Jeep here, uh, since Don does a lot of different outings and a lot of different communications, a lot of different people, so he's got the rugged radios here. We've got some, uh, you know, handheld radios in here. He's also got the uh, Cobra CB, which we hardly ever use. Obviously, we have the Magellan TRX. I mean, pretty much everybody's got to have one of those these days. Uh, also, you'll notice we've got the S-Pod up here, which we have the lockers and... Uh, all the LED lights uh, working off of the S-Pod. Uh, you know how we feel about S-Pod. S-Pod is just the most bitchin' product and bitchin' company and the, the people behind S-Pod are awesome. Uh, also, we have a Super Chips uh, trail dash over there for recalibration and uh, engine tuning. And uh, other than that, the uh, inside of Don's Jeep is, uh, is fairly stock other than I guess we, uh, we've got a spider wedge shade up here in the top so when the top comes off, uh, no sunburn happens, so obviously the matching color green, which is pretty cool. All right, so here we are under the hood. Uh, this is a 2013, so obviously we've got the stock 3.6 Pentastar. Uh, first thing we have up here at the front, we have a CNR Racing aluminum radiator. Uh, this is one of the products we're testing out, kind of a new product on the market, and uh, so far we are thrilled to death with this product. Um, Basically, we, you know, since we did this and all the other things, we, we've really, you know, got the cooling under control with this thing. Uh, we also have a cannon intake in here, which we partially had to do to sneak the PSC reservoir in. Uh, you know, a few extra horsepower maybe and uh, nice sound, but mostly we did it to get some access to get the PSC reservoir in here. Got an Odyssey PC1500. Um, if you guys know a lot about us, you know we, we, we try to do everything right. These are uh, mil-spec uh, battery terminals that we pretty much do on every Jeep. Uh, they just, they, they grip the battery good. They're not those cheesy little pot metal uh, auto parts store ones that fail on you in the middle of nowhere. So we've got good, uh, good lugs, good connections, all wiring's nice and tight. Uh, you know, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you really don't want your stuff to fail. Uh, over here on this side, obviously we got our S-Pod. We've done lots of S-Pods. Uh, everything in this Jeep is all powered by S-Pod. Got a small ARB compressor mounted on a Dominion off-road bracket for the uh, 
for the air lockers, which we'll talk about on the bottom of the Jeep. So uh, this Jeep's uh, most of its modifications are on the underside. So we'll uh, we'll switch over to the underside and get you going. Okay, so here we are on uh, Don's uh, uh, Jeep tour. Uh, we'll we'll start at the back here on Don's. So Don's got a lot of stuff going on back here. So. First thing you see right away, we've got these uh, really awesome Fabtech uh, Dirt Logic shocks. Uh, these things have been great. Uh, they got a nice big shaft in them, remote reservoir. Uh, the tuning, I, incidentally, happens to work really well with the Curry lift springs that are on Don's Jeep. So this, I, I've driven this extensively. I've spent a lot of time behind the wheel of this Jeep, and this thing drives great with these Dirt Logic shocks. So other notables, we've got. Uh, Obviously, we've got a Curry 4-inch lift, so this is Curry's rear track bar. Um, we've got Dynatrack rear brakes, uh, the extended uh, caliper brakes here. Um, we've got a Rock Jock 44 axle in this Jeep. Uh, Don wasn't messing around. Don said, I don't want to mess with all the broken stuff. So we got Curry Rock Jock 44, uh, 35 spline axles, uh, ARB uh, locker. Uh, motive uh, 488 gears in this one okay so another thing you can see we got all the curry heavy-duty brackets that come with the the rock jock 44 but we did add this plate at the bottom uh, you can see this one was uh, beat up a few times before we had the plate so we went ahead and added this plate it just keeps the brackets gives it some strength and uh, keeps everything from getting beat up okay also in the rear end uh, we've got a uh, curry any rock obviously and then we've got the uh, Fox uh, IFB bump stops uh, we just put these on about a month ago, so we're still kind of playing with them. We've uh, got them all adjusted, so they're working with the shock travel. And uh, I think we might make a small pressure change, but uh, overall they're working pretty good now. Uh, kind of a new product for us. We're kind of working that out before we start, you know, mainstreaming those. But uh, that's uh, been welded into the frame. Okay, so on the Fox bump stops, basically you just uh, you cut out the frame here. They got a, a, a welded pipe, uh, threaded pipe here that we uh, weld into the chassis and got that all set. So those are really cool. Uh, we'll have a lot more information about those as we get it more dialed in. Uh, some other notables, uh, Don's got a uh, EVAP skid relocator under here. I actually don't even recall what brand it is, uh, but got rid of the EVAP. Uh, we needed to do that when he went with the new exhaust system. Okay, so this is the, the Borla muffler, the rock crawler exhaust that uh, they developed on Don's Jeep. So we've got that up here. Got, uh, of course, we got JE Reel drive lines. Uh, these suckers are still nice and true. You can see the uh, see the rock rash on here. This thing's been uh, used and abused a little bit. We've got a uh, Pure Jeep or Hansen uh, gas tank uh, skid plate on this. Uh, this was also a uh, Hansen Pure Jeep skid plate. This one's been beat up a little bit. You can see it's all rippled. Um, moving forward, we have an ARB uh, oil pan skid plate, which is. Uh, Kind of a newcomer to the market. Uh, does a really good job. You can see that it's uh, it's been beat on a lot and uh, it's still holding up pretty good. The only drawback is uh, obviously you can't change the oil with this skid, so we actually have to pull the skid down to change the oil. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but uh, because of this rib design, it is super strong. Uh, from here, you can also see Don's got the uh, all the curry arms with his uh, four inch curry lift. Uh, it's a great lift kit for an uh, off-road vehicle where Don's Jeep spends most of its time. So you've got your uh, Johnny Joint control arms. These have been uh, zero problem, zero trouble. Uh, also in the front here, you have the uh, Black Magic Big Brake Kit. Um, we've got some uh, upcoming stuff in the book we are working on, uh, talking about different brake distances and stuff. So Don's pretty much got the ultimate brakes on this. We've got the Dynatrack rears, the Black Magic front. You can see the size of the rotor. You see it peeking out down here. It's a great big rotor for that, uh, for the front of that. All right, here we are at the front of Don's Jeep. Uh, once again, we didn't want to mess with the uh, stock diff housing, so uh, Don's got uh, another Curry Rock Jock 44 up here. Um, you know, if you have your Jeep and you know you're going to be beating hard on it and you don't want to mess with the truss and mess with the stock stuff, uh, you just call up Curry. We get one of these Rock Jock 44s in there. We got an ARB, 488 gears. Uh, we've got the reed knuckles, which uh, raise up the tie rod a little bit. Uh, Curry heavy-duty steering on the front, of course. Uh, Curry front anti rock, so there's no sway bar to mess with. Uh, PSC ram assist um, works pretty good. I do notice a little rub right here, so we got a little adjustment to make. But uh, 
And uh, evidently Don's Jeep is cleaner than mine, so I guess I'm gonna have to work on mine and get it a little bit cleaner. But uh, also you got the, uh, the Curry uh, four inch springs, of course, with the Curry lift up front. And then of course, we also have the Fox bump stops, which are uh, centered up in the, uh, the spring tower. So they're inside the springs, a little harder to see. I think we've got those pretty much dialed in in the front uh, with the travel and everything. So we're just, uh, just getting that dialed in. But this Jeep with the uh, Curry lift and the Dirt Logic shocks, it works really good. So also up front here, you can see Don's a lot cleaner, but we've got the uh, RCV axle shafts in this thing. Uh, once again, Don lives in the mountains. Uh, RCVs are really simple to keep maintained. They got the grease fitting in the ex end of the stub shaft, so you just stick your grease gun on there and grease them. Uh, it's a great product, lifetime warranty. We love RCV, they do a great job. Okay, so obviously you notice we've got the PSC Ram Assist here in the front. We've also got the uh, upgraded PSC box and the PSC system. Uh, it's a really great system. Uh, there was quite a few years between uh, my PSC box and Don's PSC box. I think they've got the, uh, the feel and the rate a lot better on the newer boxes, so that might be something we need to upgrade on the shop Jeep, but uh, Don's got basically a less than a year old PSC system, so everything uh, steers really good and uh, drives really good down the highway. Okay, one last thing on Don's Jeep we haven't talked about yet is this little camera right here. This is uh, part of the uh, Ruby cam system. Uh, Don's got uh, four of these cameras. We've got two mounted underneath. We've got one on the rear bumper and one up here on the front bumper. So Don can take his little internal screen and we can uh, we can watch the trail obstacles and stuff through the display. It's a pretty cool system. Okay, so the last thing we have on Don's Jeep, uh, I'm sure there's a, a million things we forgot, but uh, last thing is, is the uh, star fabricating uh, door system. Uh, basically, every JK should have these things. Um, you know how the doors are really floppy and uh, you get out on a hill and the door wants to chase you and everything else. But these things work really good. Uh, the, the door has basically two notches. So there's, there's one notch here, there's another notch here, and then uh, obviously there's, uh, well actually there's three I guess. But basically it doesn't uh, inhibit the door operation at all, but it holds the door open so you don't have the, the door swinging in the wind and everything else. Thank you.